Right, this is for the guys who've been chatting in the Jigsaw Skype room. And they're different ways to set up these strength meters. But also, I'm getting ready for this webinar where the idea will be to place trades at random. Um, and then basically look at the various things if the trade is actually working out or not. And what we're going to look at here, we've got uh, an ES chart. We've got a NASDAQ chart for intermarket analysis. We've got the S&P 500 tick, which I don't actually use normally. And the regular IC tick. We've got the NASDAQ dome, S&P dome, strength meters for the S&P, large trades for the S&P, S&P time and sell. So I'm not using a chart or anything. So what I'll do is I'll just stick a random trade in and what I've got, I've got this to reset the strength meter when I enter a trade, but also to re reset and center all the domes when I enter a trade. So it's going to center the NQ. See if we can just get a uh, fiction, fictional fill. So we've got this 3000 hitting into 7625, uh, potentially an iceberg, although with Ninja Sim that I'm using right now to do this testing on, um, it won't fill me. Um, until it goes through as you see so we've gone through what do we see um, we can see first thing look at is the order flow uh, it's kind of half and half 50 each side doesn't really mean much large size is on the offer side on the sell side again look at this 900 uh, against 162 again early days probably wise to let it come down to 7525 before cutting, cutting this trade the market internals slightly down but not really down in a, in a big way. Uh, NASDAQ just coming down to this point here, 26, um, that would be a breakdown point. Um, the NASDAQ dome, we can see it's going up a little bit, so that's kind of pulling us up. So let's see if that can give us some power. Um, we've seen a couple of big buyers come in there, uh, not many. Um, we really need to try and get a few ticks up. I mean, the large buyers. There we're at 76, we've got 76.25, 76.50. They're kind of getting a bit stuck now. Okay, so you know, in terms of orders, 2500, 2400, about even. We've got some offers stacked, which might be to try and scare the market down. We're predominantly now adding to the bid. Okay, we'll just turn around and see what happens in the next few seconds. The third meter is the pulling and stacking. It's looking a little bit more bearish now. Okay, look at the large size coming in. Um, so you know, this is these are the different things I use: the market internals, Nasdaq, the large trade. So basically, um, just putting a trade in at random, um, and then just try and you know see how it's going to work out. I mean, I wouldn't if this was a real trade. I'd want to see uh, 75 this large bid here. 1762. I'd probably wait for it to come down to there, start trading into that, and see if that holds. Um, because I don't see the the Nasdaq's kind of going sideways. You know, the Nasdaq's where it was on the dome, exactly where we entered. So is the S&P. So all this selling, this additional selling, hasn't actually got anywhere yet. Um, so that's basically the things I look at. Um, you know, my overall feeling is this isn't wouldn't be a very good trade because basically we've only got back. All we've done basically is got back to where we started, where we entered. Um, and that's probably the market just giving us a second chance to exit on a dumb trade. Um, okay, so we've now got some buyers coming in. Okay, if we reset, let's see what these guys can do. If these guys can't actually push this up now. Then I think you've got to say that's that'd be a that trade would be toast. Okay, come on, they need to push it up. We've got 930 contracts there at 7625. Come on, that guy needs some needs to get some love. Come on, push it up. Come on, push it up. We need to get through this high. Nasdaq needs to make a new high here. Ah, oh, we've got to tick up through a new high. Okay, we just need the ES to follow now. Need these market internals really on the S&P? It's okay, and the NICE not really seeing much. Come on, push up, push up, push up. Come on, guys, thank you. Okay, and that kind of ends the video. So that's the kind of thing that I um, look at uh, when I'm entering a trade. I'll just let this run. Okay, we see we saw that 2030 trade in there. 
tempt for the the sellers to come back in. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's it. So basically, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I look for. What I tend to do is um, try and micromanage the first part of the trade till it gets into profit, till I hit a target. I usually um, scale out at one point, and then when I've scaled out, I'm kind of a bit more easy about where the trade goes. You can see right now. You know the sellers coming back in and hitting this, but we are in a range. If we look at the volume profile, we've got this area on the volume profile. There's a point of control here, um, even though it's a, you know we consider this a different value area, but this value area here has got a point of control here, and um, so we're probably going to rotate around that for a while. Anyway, that's your five-minute video. That's what I do, and uh, if you guys are doing something different, let me know because always interesting what other traders are doing with this stuff, and it is new, uh, so it's as new to me as to you. Alright, cheers guys, bye.